Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be filming a video for you. You might have noticed that the quality of this video is somewhat more improved than the last one. Um, and that is because I have got a new camera, so you will no longer hear the ticking noise from where my camera used to autofocus, which used to drive me absolutely mental. Um, and it used to drive you guys mental too, because of the amount of comments I have on my old videos going, what is that noise? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's my camera. Um, so yeah, camera quality hopefully much improved, hopefully sound is as well. Um, so yes, that is very exciting. I'm wearing a hat today. You might have noticed I don't usually wear hats. Um, I've been faffing around my, with my hair for most of the day and it's kind of a bit flat on top so I just popped a hat on so that I don't fiddle about with it throughout this whole video. Um, so yes, I am going to get on with the video now. I have bought a new bag today so I'm going to be doing my first ever what's in my handbag video um, which is really exciting so I've never done one before and I'm probably going to ramble about everything that's in my bag um, but yeah I'm just going to get on with it. The bag in question is this bag from Zara which looks like this ah. yeah that kind of angels singing kind of noise so yeah I'm just going to show you what's in it um, so this is what the inside of it looks like. So I've got a bag inside a bag, as you can see, and I'll get onto that later. Um, and then we've got some pockets here. So that's the top pocket and that's the bottom pocket. First things first, I I might as well start with the pockets, to be honest. Um, I have In the top pocket, I have two things. One is these headphones and these are my iPhone headphones. And then I have a parcel. I have to carry this around on a Saturday because we go to the post office um, and things tend to arrive during the week when I'm at work and I don't always like getting them sent to work because if they arrive on a Saturday then I have no idea where they'll go and um, it'll probably be somewhere, somewhere in Brighton where I can't get them so I have them sent to my home they go to the post office and I pick them up on the weekend um, but we always end up having arguments in the post office over um, who I am so I have to take this and um, a letter with my address on it down because most things are sent to Susie slash Hello October so that is not what my passport says. Hello October is not my last name, <laughs> although I have been asked that before, it's it's not. Um, so that is that. And then the next pocket down, I have a few things. I have a hairband, I have a pen drive, which is my work pen drive, which has nothing work related on it. Maybe one work related thing. Um, I have a Kath Kidson notebook book, not a notebook, a card thingy my balls and it has my bagel man um, loyalty card in there and I have had three free bagels and you get one free bagel for every 10 bagels so in total I have bought 30 bagels from bagel man which is ridiculous how am I not 10 stone heavier I have no idea um but yeah and it also has my train tickets I've got a ridiculous amount of train tickets I used to collect them and then the pile got to like this big and my dad was like why are you keeping these so yeah I like to hoard things as well um I've got two pens this one is a booper pen because I used to work for booper and um this one is a nice day pen which is fun for doodling with stationary nerve moment I have my glasses which are got one for spec savers and they look like this laugh away. There's my glasses and I have my purse which is from Topshop, it's got kind of like a leathery, not a leathery, a suede kind of velvet material here and then studs. Um, it's lasted quite well, I've had it since October and only one is wobbly which I'm quite happy with. Um, so yeah, in there I have lots of receipts, um, I have some cards, um, I have Space NK, Boots, Starbucks, and then my work card, a neuro loyalty card, and I have a naked coffee loyalty card. Naked coffee are my favourite coffees in Brighton, so if you ever come down to Brighton, you should go there because oh, they're just they're just gorgeous, and I really love their cards. I just like their branding. I think it's quite nice. And then we have my driver's license, which I'm not going to show you. Um, my organ donor card, which is very very exciting, and then my bank cards, which are really exciting. We've got the little bag inside a bag, and basically I use this. Um, this is my Urban Outfitters bag, um, it costs £20 and I 
use this for everything so I if, will maybe use the chain some days and use this as a full bag I will use it as a clutch and I will use it as a makeup bag um, and on a day to day basis I keep kind of makeup and keys and my phone and essential things like that in it and um, usually it's popped inside my Zara city bag and it actually does fit in there quite well um, and then when I want to change bags I just take this out and all the essentials are in there so I don't have to worry too much because otherwise I lose my keys and I lose my phone and it's all a big palaver. So yeah, I'm just going to go through what I've got. I have hand cream by Appy Vita and it is aloe vera and honey or aloe and honey. It smells gorgeous, it smells a bit like holidays and honey which is nice. Um, it's quite light as well so I just generally carry this around and use it after I've been to the loo's at work because the water for some reason and the soap really dries your hands out so I carry around a lot of some sunglasses. And these are really fun sunglasses. I've left my um, ones from ASOS at Josh's house, my vintage kind of Ray-Ban fake ones. Um, they are at Josh's house, so today I was carrying around these instead. These are from Urban Outfitters and they are just my favourites. Then I've got the Aurib Dry Texturising Spray, or no it's not it's not Aurib, I said this last time in my video, the Orbe Dry Texturising Dry? dry dry texturizing spray. Then I've got the Simple Moisture Boost Hydro Mist which looks like this. Makes your skin really nice and dewy. I'm not using it today but I kind of tend to use it some days if I get ready for work. On I also have the Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector in 03 Nude I think. Yes, 03 Nude and it just goes really nicely over any kind of lip gloss that I'm wearing or lipstick that I'm wearing and um, so I don't really have to worry about wearing a pink lipstick and it being too peachy it's just kind of like quite sheer so it's really lovely I have a comb which I use for back combing or for separating my parting because the wind in Brighton is crazy and it tends to just flip your hair all over the place so yeah then I have three nail varnishes I think I have three I've lost one so I'm just going to show you two for now until I find the other one I have Jaffa by Butter London, which it's okay, but the formula is really, really bad. Um, so yeah, I don't know if these are actually worth the money, um, but I really, really love the colour. It's such a gorgeous colour. It's like a pinky, orangey, red. It's just stunning. And then I've got the Sachet Vic top coat. I tend to paint my nails when I'm just like walking around or at people's houses, so I just carry around a lot of nail varnishes. Um, I'm also wearing the lipstick that I'm wearing today, which is Peach Stock by Matt. Then I've got the Philip B drop dead straightening balm and I just use this for if my hair's like flicking like it likes to I just put a little bit on and just smooth it out and then I've got a plaster because I'm breaking some new shoes in and then the final one is what I've, I'm wearing today I found it and it is Gone Fishing by Topshop it's a really lovely kind of bright minty colour um, so yeah that's really really lovely that's it from me and my bag I'm gonna just have a cuddle this is the end of my video this is goodbye from me and my bag so um if you have any requests just pop them down below there will be a top five blushes coming up that's not five that's ten there'll be a top five blushes coming up soon um which is going to be really really nice and um so if you have any other top fives you want pop them down below anything at all there'll be a hair care routine coming up as well that's in the pipeline and um, just once i get my actual hair care routine sorted because i'm messing about with loads of things at the moment um so yeah, lots of things coming up. If you have any requests, put them down below. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.